Good evening everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Hope you've got that cup of tea and you're sat there waiting and ready because tonight is going to be a fantastic night. We've got Carol in the kitchen and believe me, she's got loads of things to show you. So she's going to show you the cute dinosaurs, she's going to show you the dahlia, the English rose, a drip. She's going to do some um, modelling, aren't you? We're here till about three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. When she showed me all the things that she was going to make, even I believe we're going to be here till <laughs> three o'clock in the morning. So I may not ask many questions tonight. We'll see how it goes. We'll get so, as much done as we possibly absolutely can. Absolutely, we will. Yeah. And we'll have to speed some bits up as well. But it's going to be a great night and Carol's always great fun. And I must tell you a funny story I have with her today. So I ring her today, make sure she's on track and she's got everything she needs. And she says something, I forget what she said. And then she went, Alexa! Shut up! <laughs> and I went, I was thinking, what's she shouting at? <laughs> then I realised she's talking loud, I'm talking loud. Alexa chimes in. So you know that um, thing that you can buy off Amazon that can answer questions and uh -huh. everything else. And in the middle of the conversation, all I get is, Alexa! Shut up! <laughs> Not quite sure what Alexa said after that. <laughs> She's brave enough to answer that. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> but anyhow, Carol has been on our Facebook Live before. She's great fun. Um, feel free to ask questions. We will get as many as we can, but I don't want to interrupt her too much because I want to make sure that we get to see everything. And if you don't want to see comments, don't forget to swipe to the right or the left, whichever way it goes. And then just a quickie, we've got another live on Thursday night at eight o'clock with Dawn Butler. She's gonna show you how to use her fantastic airbrush and Carol's gonna use it tonight as well. So that's great. She's not gonna show you all the hints and tips. She's just gonna use it for one of her things that she's going to do this evening. But we've got Dawn in at eight o'clock on Thursday. So make sure you're here watching then. And we've also got one space left on the Dawn Butler class. So if anybody wants that space on Friday, please let me know. And I have one space for the Nifty Nozzles class on Saturday that I'm hosting. So please let me know if you want to jump on that too. So we're going to let you get running away with this, aren't okay. we? Okay. All right. See you soon. Let's do it. I've got loads of things to show you today. These are our little dinosaur cuts. They're so, so cute. And I'm going to cut some out. Now I've got some cut out and I've, I, you know, they're drying out as well. But I'll show you this. Oh, everyone says, oh, you know, tap it. How do you use tappets? I can't use them. And I'm like, oh, of course you can. You just take a piece of paste. Now this is just modeling paste, like Renshaw's modeling paste. If you watch me, I roll and I lift, and roll and lift. And that's important, and I never turn it over, ever, because I have a sticky side and I have a dry side. And lift. You can see this, it's getting much finer now. Now I want it to move, really, so I'm going to put a little corn flour on the board. And then I'm going to use the dinosaurs, and I'll have all of these. So put your hands across the whole thing, and move. And pull everything away, rather than lift the cutter. Pull it all away if you can. So when you turn over, you've got everything in there. Now, they have little eyes and little feet, so do your cornflower, just touch, and you'll get all the little markings. That's on there. And if you've got a craft knife, anything that is not needed, just remove now. Can you you can see down, Carol? Can you drop your hands down, Carol? Oh, sorry, one. sorry. That's okay, <laughs> sorry, girls. Ignore Maria. Yeah. <laughs> Maria can stretch over. I know she told me earlier, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> Do you see this little lens here? That's okay. what you're aiming for. Hi. <laughs> they can't see you there. You just see your hands. hands. <laughs> and here yeah. is where you see your face. Hands is okay, though. I don't <laughs> mind hands. Yeah. Now, this is the difficult part. You just hold this and tap. And there he is. He's out. Tap. Come back. I'm I think running that's away. fantastic how you do that. And there they are. Look. <laughs> and then just put them. Just on a piece of foam or on, on your um, pads or, and they'll dry out for you, like so. It's just so easy. So they're freestanding. Over here, I've got a couple more, and they're not painted up, but they will be. I'll show you how I'm gonna paint these off in a little while, okay? So that's the dinosaurs. This kind of cake, kind of gonna get everything a little bit ready as I'm working then. It'll all come together and then I can, Pop it all on my cake that I have here on the side. 
you know, a low calorie cake. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do, they are cutters. Now everyone has rose cutters or just a large circle. So I'm going to use this one because it's got the nice large circle on it. And again, I'll just cut everything in white at the minute. Just to let you know, we've got a fantastic audience. We're up to 260 at the moment. So a great audience watching you, Carol. That's good. Okay. That is good. And I hope every one of you do a dinosaur in the park <laughs> yeah. cake tonight. I mean, tomorrow. <laughs> okay, roll. This one, I don't want it to be too thin. Pop that on there and then cut around it. Of course you can use a cookie cutter <laughs> or whatever you want. But it's always something that you think, oh, I just want that size. And is it there? No. <laughs> right, so that's that. And if you want this to be a little bit decorated, pop it on a piece of foam again on your former pad. Put that into it, making sure it's central. And then just press gently and you'll have it decorated like this. Okay. okay. That can dry off. Next I do circles. This needs to be fairly thick, like so. And I'll cut one large circle. And then I'll keep going until I've got four or five circles done and let them dry so I think everybody knows how to do circles don't you so I've done like this now these I've colored the paste up before I've done and then I've let them dry off okay so we'll put that together in a little while. Lorraine Stevenson says she would love your recipe for the low calorie cake. <laughs> <laughs> Just phone up and order a polystyrene cake. <laughs> so, and they're cheap as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> now this one that I'm going to do next is freehand. So um, at home, I was saying this to Carol earlier, at home I, I just done a drawing and I then done what I'm about to do now measured the dinosaurs off what I'd done on paper yeah they looked okay and then that was that there's no big <laughs> boss no big so if you ever wanted anything that I'm going to make tonight and you want to make it yourself have a little go and you want this pattern just contact Carol and I'll send her a pattern and she will send oh, it to you too. yeah, yeah. Now see what I'm doing to make this nice and straight, yeah, if you just do it with your pad and it makes it nice and straight. Now I want two of these, so you start off just cut the bottom, that's on average about the size I want, but always do where you push that in the middle. Right, can you see that? Yeah. I'll do it again so that just push it there. There and there. Now I'm going to cut. <laughs> what can we hear? <laughs> we can hear your husband watching the TV. <laughs> Shall I just shout up, Alan? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So everybody, just so that you know, Alan has drove uh, Carol down and we've bunged him upstairs with his <laughs> iPad on our <or> TV. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoying himself up there with a cup of tea and his iPad. <laughs> and on the top here, just as you can see on here, I've just cut a little weeny piece out, like so. Can you see that? Yeah. Then I've just done, um, I'll take one of these, cut this like so to go across your A to make your A I don't want this as thick as this so I cut it in half and when this is ready that will sit in there and then that will dry making sure it's straight okay earlier just a little while before you came on I stuck this on okay. to that so they'll dry off for you okay then you've got one straight piece to dry off for you as well 
and then you've got one little tiny piece like so and that you can do that freehand this little part but there's just one little knack that I just want to show you I've actually got cutters of every shape and every size. Yeah, I was going to say, your house must be just full mostly, of cutters, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, mostly because I'm just sad. <laughs> and Sharon Rowe, do you hear an Irish accent? Yes, you do. Got another Irish one in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Good, job's, good job John's not here. We wouldn't understand a thing when you get two of them when together. Did, that's, that's exactly right. <laughs> I can understand everything John says and you say separately. Mm -hmm. But whenever I go to visit John's family in Ireland... No. No, no, don't understand the word. Al's the same. Yeah. Al's the same with mine. Now I have a piece of wire here, 26 gauge, but it's that nice silvery one. You know, you can get them all different colours, yeah. can't you? We sell them all different colours. And colors. I'm just making four little holes, but instead of just leaving it at that, I am going to pick that up just to make it and open it up a little. So you can see where this I've made a good hole. Yeah, that's it. Can you see it yeah. there? Yeah. Just put it in. And then open it up a little. Yeah. Now let that dry. And take your things that you've got on your table. You can take um, a paintbrush if you want it wider. It depends on what width this is. That one is a bit too wide. You can see it. And that one's not too bad. Now your straight piece of wire. Pick up. Put it on your pin. Or your... Um, handle of your brush, hairpin, now I'm going to squeeze either side, see, done, okay, right, that now goes in here, just drop your hands towards the middle for me, and you can see, you can see really now why I open it up a little, because it's easier to push in, having said that, sometimes, like now, the paper comes off the wire, and causes you to um, get a bit mad with it. <laughs> On the other side, so it doesn't come out, because dinosaurs can be quite heavy. Tip it, so bend it over so that they're just hooked, so they won't come back out. Okay, that one is big. And you're going to be nice to me. It's never nice when you're doing it for something else, is it? No, it's <laughs> never nice when you're screen. live either. Oh, yeah. look at that. Oh. <laughs> so we have popped that on there. And this is the part now. We just want to put it together. On the table, I've always got a little bit of glue on the go here. And you can see it, you can see it now that I've kind of mashed it, it's gone a bit dry. So in my jar, I've got a bit of glue, mash it back up again. And then I find that if I, I'm going to stick something like this, I've got heavier glue to work with. And all this is, is when I put in the um, paste into, um, mine's in vodka, I like mm. So... Right, we start off with this one on here, pop that on, hold on to it, a little glue, you know really when you're doing something like this, you're not looking for perfection here, this is a dinosaur park, so we just really want it. You have to remember, they didn't have all the tools to do their thing no. like we do now. No. So, right. Had all the nuts and bubbles on them, didn't they? Bit of patience and that will stay for you. But not today. <laughs> it doesn't look like Monday, as you say. Listen, they love it live because they know things go wrong. That's right. <laughs> Put something against it so it will stay. And a secret little. I'll go on, make it work for me. <laughs> then it works, yeah? That, you'd leave and let it stand, okay? Yeah. To dry. 
So we put that on there. <laughs> we have one over here made, so you'll still see that one. Yeah. And then I'm going to cut out. Well, we're well over 300 now, Carol, mm -hmm. watching you. All eyes uh -oh. on you. Uh -oh. <laughs> I hope they run the take the board, not on me. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got I'm lots. a very shy person, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're yelling at Alexa. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we've got lots of um, people, lots of regulars. I think there's lots of newbies names there I don't recognise from before. Are you going to shout them out, Laura? Yeah, How's we've got about? quite a few, a, new, a few new people, if I can talk. Um, so just to recap, we've got Carol Hay from FMM Cutters. There's loads of things being covered tonight. Um, just for people who've missed the beginning. Um, so as you can see, we've got the little gorgeous cute dinosaurs there and the cake that I'm showing at the moment is just the little playground park set up. Um, so Carol's just been showing the swing there that she's done. Um, so we've got the um, loads of different tappets. We've got the um, English rose being done as well. We've done the dinosaurs. So she's just got some little elements as well, like the leaves and things like that as well that we'll show you. Um, if anyone has missed any of the Facebook Live already, or you can't stay with us for the whole um, tutorial, you can catch up when we've finished. It will be pinned to the Facebook page, um, and then it will also get transferred across to YouTube as well, so you can watch us back at any point. Um, so hi to Irish Shuttleworth, of course, um, Sharon Rowe, Lynn Feather, Julie Shelley, Nesma Khan, hi Nesma, Louisa Johnston from Australia is with us as well. Um, we've got Kerry Badham, Debbie Lewis. She's up quite late then, isn't yes. she? She's yeah. in Australia watching. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Georgie Gottbold's here watching. Oh, yes. So Georgie's Georgie. name as Hi, well. Hi, Georgie. Georgie's a massive fan of uh, FMM Cutters. She loves yes. them. Yes, yeah. she is indeed. Go on, she Karen, loves me, really, because I give her bottles <laughs> of wine. <laughs> um, we've got Karen Naylor, Elaine Lawton, Lorraine Stevenson, Lynn Sprouls, Pearl Butler. So, yeah, lots of familiar names with us tonight. And I see a little spy in the midst there. We have a lady called Samantha Copeland, who will be on our Facebook Live. She's from Reese College, which is a university in um, Northwich there. And she's going to be on with us in March, making ah. an Easter cake. So she's spying out how <laughs> you're doing it, Carol. <laughs> so hello, everybody. And I meant to say, when uh, Laura and Maria are in the kitchen with us as well, Oh, Donna Ryan is with us from the USA. So lots and lots of lovely people. If you're new to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, you know, feel free to add your comments. Everything that goes on in the kitchen, it just stays in the kitchen. So don't worry if we sort of, you see us wipe our eyebrow or flick our hair back or anything like that. None of it's for consumption. It's actually just to show you live. Um, always give you appreciation for the tutor in. Carol's done a two hour trip down here today for us and tutors come from all over the UK. But no, it's a long day when they've done a two hour trip, then they've got to set up for the demo, then they've got to drive home. And that's without all the pre-preparation, all the organisation before, you know, and then Maria has lots of hard work for the rest of the week because she has to make lots of one minute videos. Uh, Laura and I have to clean up and then we have to get everything here so everything's here for the tutors. So there's always a lot of work that goes together putting these lives for you. They're all absolutely free and I know that all our regular followers appreciate it and we love it that you stay with us the whole time. Um, our lives are usually about two hours, sometimes longer. <laughs> Carol's on for a free AM this morning so I hope you stay, <laughs> stay with us. Um, but do pay attention and anything, as Laura said before, we can't go back over things, but this live stays pinned to our page. It is on YouTube, it stays pinned to our page to the next live, which will be Thursday night, won't it? And then it will go on YouTube tomorrow afternoon. And then you can always pop over to that and then you can fast forward. So you can't fast forward a live because we haven't done it and you can't rewind because we're still here live. But once it goes over to YouTube, you can do your fast forward and your rewind and get to the bits that you want to. So please sit back and enjoy. And we're, in, we're very pleased that you've joined us this evening. So fabulous crowd. Well, okay, we're back then. We're organized, we're back. Yeah, we're right. back on you, all eyes. This is my little piece that I'm, I've done earlier. Look, it's just a bit fancy with the with, with how I've done the rose pot journey. And you'll notice on the one I've done on the board, I've made little pieces that go around here. So I'll just show you what I've done with them. Exactly the same, you just have a um, piece of paste. I like doing on here because it doesn't, um, you know, sometimes on the board, it 
it goes flat on you, doesn't yeah. it? And but if you put it on your form forming pad, it doesn't. It stays all straight for you. So I want a little piece that's going to go on here. All I've done is chopped here using your. I use this because this my veining tool is pointed here, and this has a nice. E edging on it there, so if you use it, yeah, I've got glue on it. <laughs> Sorry. The cap's it, you come over here. Sorry, I'll show you for it. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm just cleaning it off. Just has a nice edge on this, just there. So when you're doing something like this, hold your two fingers here and push that. And you can see what happens, it just makes it, that gives it that um, eh, um, bendy. And it stays. As you've done, make sure they're exactly the same. So cut across a little glue on here. It's amazing when you have everything on your table and you're using and using and then you lose something. It's amazing that, I know. <laughs> Isn't it? You're doing a Facebook Live, you know you've got the tool here yeah. and you just can't find yeah. it. I think you just go blind, don't you, looking for things. And so someone has asked what, are we using a modelling paste or flour and modelling paste here? It's, this is modelling paste, Renshaw's modelling paste. Okay. Yeah, just open the packet, work, and let it dry. So you can done. see what I've done. Now I've done them all around for the one that's on the cake. And these are our discs that we cut out. We cut them out quite earlier, didn't we? And now yeah. I'm just going to do a wee piece of glue and we're going to go from... Uh, the bottom. I'm going to turn that up. Oh, that's and glue. So when this dries, it will be presented this way. Oh, yeah. So, Julie Lowther, yes, we do sell the green board. There's two sizes. This is actually the largest one. Um, I've not put it in the wish list. I think it's that size. No, I'll put it in the oh, back of stock. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So just to let you know, go on, Carol. Just putting that together. And that'll be for our little roundabout, which I should, again, <laughs> I shall show you. I keep saying, and that's for our, you know, on the side. <laughs> and when they all dry out, you leave them. I like to, these kind of things. If you're going to, to work with these, leave them to dry overnight. So I have two more things to do for drying out overnight, and then we can have another, another little chit chat. Okay? Yeah. So brilliant. that can go on the side there for drying out. So Julie, yep. yes, you can use fondant mixed with gum tag or CMC or Tylo. Absolutely. Or if you've got flour and modelling paste, you can use modelling paste with a little bit of flour and modelling paste as well. That'll stiffen it up as well. There's lots of things you can do. Go on, Karen, what are you going to say? Well, if you put um, your CMC or Tylo into your sugar paste, although it makes a really nice hard paste, it doesn't dry off so good. Uh -huh. So the humidity in your room will, tomorrow, if you put it on a, a cake that's been buttercreamed or it's that, it's proper cake inside your your um, sugar. The moisture of your cake makes it wilt. Right. So if you're going to do something like this that you want it to stand up, use muddling paste or flour paste. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So use not, not one that you've made up yourself. Yeah. Muddling paste or flour yeah. muddling paste. Did you get that, everyone? Now these cutters, these are uh, the leaves. Exotic leaves. Did you just drop your hands down a little bit? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And this one, because it's so um, intricate, they need to be tidied out in each in between the little pieces you don't need. And exactly what we've done, just give it a tap and out it comes. Oh, look, I've torn that one off. But don't worry if you tear it off. It doesn't matter if you tear it off. Don't think, oh, I have to do that again. And my mate, just softening it a little. But not really taking the shape out. Pull this down to the centre from the bottom, and there's glue on my. Mm -hmm. And then put that aside again to just dry off a little bit. Now they'll all be dried off and not up 
when I'm going to put them onto this cake, okay? Now the last thing I'm going to put is going to be green. Only because I have some here. I think this is the last thing. You'll soon know when we're putting it all together. <laughs> yeah. So whoever's just asked for the non-stick board, just so that you know, everything is on our website, which is www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. To make thingy, things easier, if you go to the top of our page and scroll along from shop, home and everything else, uh, right at the end it says Facebook Live Tutorials. Just click in there, drop down to this month, find Carol Haycock's name, and everything that she's using this evening will be in that um, section. I'm looking for Carol? I'm looking for my box that has um, um, my um, rebel wheel in it. If I, if, I can, if I haven't. I have got it with me. Yeah. It's just finding it. Don't worry, take your time. I mean, we have seven boxes down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and they all this. look the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like the audience. No, not only have you got to prepare before you come here, oh. you've got to get everything packed up from your home, get it all down here. I think it's getting it all out of yeah. your workroom and putting it into mm. a small oh. space. Yeah, I think that's the hard part. Yeah. I've got a ribbon wheel here. Love my ribbon wheel. And this... Because I'm going to use these elements, when you, if you were just cut with this, it's too fine at the bottom. You need a little piece of uh, paste at the bottom to be able to pick it up and move it around and do as you please, as you want with it. So always make yourself. If, if you haven't got a ribbon wheel, do it with a ruler or something. But a ribbon wheel is so much easier. Oh, I love when you ribbon wheel. Show them how to use a ribbon wheel. I I don't. You know sometimes. In my box, I think, what would I do without this? And then there's other things that you know that you've got you can use, like a straw and so on. But my ribbon wheel, they go straight on. Now I'm going to leave the, um, if you look at this, there's, there's a bottom and a top to it. But really, you decide which one. So I'm having this as the bottom. So that's going to go so that that hits the top here. Now, note I put my cornflour on underneath this paste. Very important. Fingers on all the way over and move. Everything has to move. Off that comes. You see this? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. There's my grass. They're really good, that, isn't it? It makes it so easy. Yeah. Now, I can put this, which I'm going to do now. Could I borrow my turntable, please? You can. You know, it comes can to I, something, girls, when I you bring your own turntable <laughs> and then somebody has to <laughs> steal it. You can have this bit. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll have this bit. Now, this is coming back up on here. We were talking about this cake earlier. And um, that's just marble. It's just... I'm a great one for finding what I've got in my box and mixing up and doing. Oh. Yep. <laughs> and I, th this is exactly, you know, the, some of this paste is made from using that lovely um, flavoured sugar and marshmallows. Oh yeah, I tasted mm. some before. Now there's yeah. this, the only danger with that is if there's a little bit left over, you mm -hmm. don't put it back in the bag. <laughs> it goes in there instead. Yeah. So that's a big danger where I'm concerned. Oh my goodness, it's very difficult. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little round here. And I always, everyone always asks me, what have you got in your water pen? Well I have vodka in my water pen. What have you got? The vodka. vodka. I don't I don't even think I want to repeat what I thought you said. But <laughs> <laughs> And I have vodka in there because it dries quickly. Quicker. Right, I'm going to put that onto there, like so, and use a paintbrush. Let's see if I got a nice size paintbrush. Push down and lift. I just find that if 
you do it with the brush, it just helps. Everything doesn't stick to your fingers. And don't push in all the way. Leave bits here and there. That's yeah. just so quick, isn't it? And it's done. It's instant. I like that, don't you? Instant. Mm. Now, another thing I do with this, you can even do it with these little pieces that you've got left. And you let them dry, and they're little tufts of grass on your Fantastic. plate as well. Mm -hmm. And let me just roll one of these. Now, can't stress enough if you're going to do this to let it stand up, you need to let it dry for overnight. But I have got a piece ready to show you. Yeah. I'll tell you what I've just done here, which I know you'll be delighted with, this, with me. <laughs> um, I've powdered my board before I cut it with my ribbon wheel. I have to stress when you're doing, don't powder your board first. Do your paste on it, roll it, and I'm leave sure it stuck to your board. Yeah. Because otherwise it follows your wheel. Mm. Yeah. So. It's so good that for stripes up the side of a cake, everything. You did that once for us though, didn't you? I did. You did that, was I it did. for the um, circus cake you made? I, yeah. I, I mean, I have, honestly, I use my um, ribbon wheel for everything. And sometimes it's like, I said to you earlier, sometimes you have something that you just do not realise how many times you use it. Yeah. You just don't realise it. Okay, so if I want, I would just leave, I do like this. And then I usually take, I'm, I'm always, you know, improvising and so on. So just take something, this is a piece of sponge that I cut and I've put a um, paper clip on it and it does for loads of stuff, loads of different. You can make it all the sizes you want. I love it when you come, you're always got little bits of things going on. Well, you have, you have to just do and then let that dry. Yeah. And it'll just dry out for you. And then what happens, it's, you've got this. So it's that you've got lots of different little pieces going on when you're putting it on the board, okay? These things here, I let these, I cut these out a little while ago and I've let them dry off a, a little. And I'm, the reason for that is I'm going to put them here and make them stand just a little. I want them to just go where they want to go, so to speak. So again, we'll just put a little vodka on and just stick on and let it fall the way it wants to fall. I am sorry, but I've got a cold, guys. Carry on, don't worry. I've only got small tissue, though. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. They all know that this is a dummy cake and you're only just playing with well, it. Well, you know, I have my baby wipes, <laughs> which I just think are one of the best inventions ever, yeah, ever, ever. Yeah. aren't they? They're for everything, though. Yeah, yeah, because they just have for everything. Mm. My hairdressers that use them to rub off spots of colour. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, when they colour your hair. Yeah. When they get the baby wax out, they <laughs> do a good rub all yeah. around. <laughs> I do I do when I'm I go home from the hairdresser. We call it the hair messers. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just touching that now. I do I think I realise that your camera's yeah, the green and um, when we're when we're doing this on camera, um, camera is, and the green on green is hard. It's but actually, I think it's picking it up okay. Actually, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. picking it up fine. But you can see where I'm going with this. That you're just doing it a little piece and putting it together. And so I put all three of these together. And I have got one that I'm going to um, spray as well so we'll spray that up in a little while because again i think if you make a lot of stuff in white it dries quicker it dries oh. better for you and then of course you can then do where you have um the different contrasts so i like to put in into my gun a little green a little yellow a little brown mm -hmm. one after another and just yeah. spray and make colors that yeah. you know 
that you'll never get back again, but you know, they're there, right? It's great when you've got the confidence to play with an egg, and I keep getting mine out, looking at it, putting it back. Oh, I haven't really? used it yet. <laughs> oh, you... They I say mean, once you use one, that's it, you so, can red. Yeah. Because it's so much easier for colouring like a black cake, a red cake. Yes. You don't need, just do it in white well, and I made spray. Lego for my grandson last week. Yeah. He was being christened, and he, we weren't going to make a Christmas cake because, <laughs> you know. And so I made him um, three blocks of Lego. And so he had a red, a yellow, and a blue in piece. But that's so much easier to do in white paste. Yeah. yeah. So everything was done in white paste and then sprayed. <laughs> so, okay, so we've got our leaves on now. And the next thing, we're just going to put one of these little chaps. Actually, we'll put them on in a few minutes and that can go. And is that dried off a little? I'm worried about this. Having enough time to dry. And yeah. But if I put a bigger piece of um, thicker piece of glue on that, it might do the trick for us. We've got a couple of other ladies, Helen and Maxine, they're scared of using theirs as well. <laughs> it is just that first time, isn't it, once you've done it. Yeah. <laughs> you just sit there thinking, Oh, what did she say again? What did she say again? <laughs> But it's but everybody it's, I know does use an airbrush. They love it. They don't go back. Well, when we use so it in a few minutes. So come on, Helen and Maxine, you've got to be brave. We will use it in a few minutes, <laughs> and uh, you can see I've put a few bits on the table that are now in, done in white. Yeah. And then what we'll do is just put them all together. So that's the roundabout. Yeah. And the best thing about this is I was making all this, and all these pieces are all on my table drying off. And my little four-year-old grandson came in and he said, Oh, Nanny, that's a roundabout and that's a seesaw and that's... That's good. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that'll do it. That's okay then. Yeah. You're confident it looks like that. Yeah. Now, this poor dinosaur has been in a fight. Okay? <laughs> and so that's why his leg has bitten off. Yeah? So, <laughs> put him back there. Right, so, look at this piece of grass as well. We can hide him behind the piece of grass, actually. Yeah. And you can hide them. Okay, some rocks. <clears throat> you know when you have your paste and it's all over the place? Five second rule. <laughs> 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 Who does the five second rule? I have, to tell, <laughs> I have to tell you, you know, when we were kids and if anything dropped, it came up <laughs> off the floor and it went it did. like that. <laughs> and then straight in our mouth. <laughs> Yeah, straight in your mouth. <laughs> you know, in our family, you know, the quickest got the most because exactly. it was 11 of us. <laughs> yeah. Now, that, oh, that's falling apart now because that's because it's been in the car and been knocked everywhere. <laughs> but it, it doesn't matter. It's just that you're going to put it in your park and make it a bit of yeah. um, a feature a and whatever. Much. So, again, that sprayed. Yeah, it was done in white and, and then it sprayed. So on the bottom, I'm just going to cut a piece off. I was hoping it wouldn't cut so much off. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put a little glue on. Now the glue, I, did I tell you what I made I like the glue that. from? Deirdre Sh Shazard says, bless it and it won't kill you. <laughs> That's the very thing. Yeah, <laughs> the very thing. Okay, that goes on there. Then, put a rock here and there. And then it depends on what you've made and how lovely much you love your dinosaurs and what if you've made them a swing and a slide and to go. Okay, so they would go on there. There's lots more. The rocks are great. Go. Do you know what? They just literally don't make them smooth. Just take your piece of paste and just squidge. And just squidge. Look, it's not smooth, but just spray them then with your green and green and brown or whatever it is you have. And then so it, it's funny here because Helen Mills has just said she's waiting for Hubby to build her a box so that she can spray it in a new kitchen. But Dawn Butler doesn't use a box and I don't think you do either. You don't use a spray box, do you? No, but I do have paper at home. I do have just sheets yeah. of paper at home. So right. just do a piece of greaseproof paper. Right. And then and I and you just put it over your area. But what I'm going to do is I've got a separate board that I'm going to spray yeah. in. But we do have to be careful of our surroundings if we've got white cakes in the vicinity yeah. because it does air 
right. uh, you know, and, and so tomorrow you might find that there's a spray on the top of your cake. Oh, thanks for that. If you have gone a bit, <laughs> yeah? So you need to keep that spray and you need to keep it where you want I'm it. I'm now seriously worried because we've got eight mad women spraying oh, their guns no. on Friday. Oh, You'll be no. grand. You'll be There's going to be eight women and Dawn Butler with an air, yeah. airbrush in here. Yeah, well, I mean, the, uh, with Dawn as well. I mean, Friday. that says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and now, then I've got a class with nifty nozzles that's all going to be covered in this stuff. <laughs> yeah. But it's only, I remember doing Royal Ice Cakes and long, long time ago. And um, we used to, if people ask for an ivory royal ice cake, we used to spray them. Oh, really? Yeah. And, um, but if you've done anything else with the spray and took your royal ice cakes down, yeah. they would just have a little on the top of them right. where it, it's settled in, <laughs> in our workroom. Yeah, it's a long time ago. And um, someone's asked, a couple of people asking, how did you make your glue? The glue is made, this particular glue is take a piece of your white paste, pop it in there, put some vodka in it and leave it. Just walk away from it. I wanted this even m extra strong, so I, I actually put a little uh, CMC powder into it, but like the tip of my knife, a t you know, just a, a pinch into it. But my, for me, uh, the best one I think is, is when we put our paste in and we allow that to then make the glue for us because it's just more sturdy. This, um, Cake, is this on screen? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Because um, this travelling... Do we as, want to bring it nearer here? As I was okay. putting this in the box, I hit one of these yeah. and broke it. And I thought, my God, it's been sitting there for a week. And of course you break it. Now tonight, I made that one and I put it on there. Yeah, just yeah. while you were, while yous were out having dinner, Carl. Don't yeah. worry about me, though, I'm fine. <laughs> While I was passing and enjoying myself and you were working away. <laughs> so now, everything is stuck. And even this chappy, he got stuck on tonight. Yeah. Yeah? So you can see what I've done here. I just put a little bit of foam here. Just to support just him. Just hold on to him until. Yeah. I'm sure if I touched him, he would wobble a little. Yeah. But they stay, that glue holes and it's you can see a little white underneath you know but you're sure a blind know, man and a flying, flying horse wouldn't yeah. be able to see it no so we'll put that back there and i just want to show you how i paint my um dinosaurs and stuff okay so do you know linda elizabeth donnelly terry's mom i do she's watching you tonight oh is she yeah. hi terry's mom <laughs> So she she shouted out. She actually shouted out about twenty minutes ago to say hi, but I didn't get I didn't get it. But anyhow, she says she uses a light box that she uses to that she bought to take photos in, and she now uses it for airbrushing. Works yeah. a treat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we used to just use a big cardboard box, mm -hmm. you know. So anything that you, if you're worried about your area, when I very first start using an airbrush, I used to put on my greaseproof paper up on my wall. Yeah. So we would do, you know. But as obviously as I've got more used to using it, I'm I'm now a little bit more, you know, yeah, a bit more in control, yeah. yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, a few and ladies. I'm not saying I don't get it here and there, but not no. a great a good ex Yeah. We've got a few ladies with a few different things, even cling film on the wall. Sarah uses. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Right now. I was about to use and paint, and I like a very fine brush to do these with. And, you know, everyone says, oh, I can't paint very well, and I don't do painting very well. Well, neither do I. So I suggest have yourself a large one and then start painting. <laughs> right? Now, can you see this? Relaxed. Yeah. Is this visible? Yeah, yeah let's go further. Right. Um, I, I like to have it on here because also I can move this for me. Sorry, Danny, everybody. I did put a hole in this. So if you're wondering what brushes Carol's about to use now, we're now the UK distributor for the Sugar Artist Network. Globe, wait, Global Sugar Artist, Sugar Artist Network yeah. brushes. <laughs> I'll get there in a minute. <laughs> I had this with Emily. Emily. I still can't do it now. Amy and Emily. <laughs> Emmy and Emily I had last week, can't do it. Right, anyhow, so Carol is, saw these brushes, thought they were absolutely amazing, binned her own brush and got mine out. 
she's right. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lean on here. I'm going to lean on here. Or if you want to, you then put this down here so that your hand is leaning on here. It That's gives you a thing. lot more control yeah. over what you're doing, okay? That's a good tip. I also, if you look, watch my little finger. My little finger leans and I'm very useful with this hand that I'm holding this so as it's holding it steady because we all have that natural shape, don't we? Yeah. So, but alcohol gets rid of that. Does it? <laughs> yeah. So, and now... Well, what do I do? I'm allergic to alcohol. <laughs> loads of sugar. <laughs> so uh, all I'm going to do is outline, outline everything that I want to do. So into the colour. And here we go. And if you get it wrong, don't worry about it. Because nobody else is going to notice, no. only you. No, we're far too critical. Yeah. Aren't we? we think everybody sees all the things we see when actually they yeah. just see the whole thing. And that's all they can look at, the whole yeah. thing, is it? I'm going to come back up on here. Hey, the boss is watching. Grace is on. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh, She's home from the pub then. Yeah. <laughs> going to be quiet in the house now. The boss is watching from FMM Cutters. Grace Clements, hello. <laughs> she said she was out tonight. And right, she... Stop enjoying yourself now, Carol. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always have a good time when I'm out with Grace. Yeah, she's a lovely lady. Yeah. Oh, I didn't say she's a lovely lady. I said I have a good time <laughs> now. We just laugh a lot. Which is the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And his little nose. And he's going to do his eye here. This brush is just so... Fine. It's the first time you've used it. It's lovely. It's so fine, isn't it? Like oh, you say. It's beautiful. I was trying to show them on the live, um, I think last week it was, mm. wasn't it? But it's so difficult to show them on the camera, but it's perfect for those just for tiny little bits that yeah. you're doing now. Do you see what I'm doing with my hand as well? It's leaning on here, but look, I'm all the time I'm holding on to what I do and you know, supporting my hand to stop it shaking. He's got little weeny um graffiti marks on there. Can you see this? We can. And now on here, I mean, I have got an expert in the room. I, I have to tell you this, <laughs> ladies, of dinosaurs. <laughs> thing oh, is, oh, Maria. Thing <laughs> is, she thinks it's us. <laughs> but, it, you know, and <laughs> so she was telling me that I needed to know exactly <laughs> What was what? So I said I have a daddy dinosaur and a mummy dinosaur. <laughs> and the reason for that was mummy dinosaur had eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> See? And then that was that. And with this little one, look, I don't really make, I mean, what kind of markings did they have on? Do we know? So just do little tiny, tiny. I bet you know, don't you, Maria? Little marks. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I was a bit scared to do this because she'd tell me off in case because <laughs> it was wrong. And up the tail. And all that does is just gives it a little weeny piece of character yeah, yeah. on there. See? And then that's that. That's really absolutely cute. Brushes to clean them. So Only wet wipes. Wet Never wipes. wash them. No. Never wash Don't them. ever wash these. Right, okay, Lorraine, what's the difference about these brushes? They're actually special brushes that are made for sugar artists. And those of you who like to do models with eyes, eyelashes, fine painting, fine detailed work, these brushes are for them. They're called Global Sugar Artists Network. I had to say that slowly. <laughs> what a title. <laughs> <laughs> And we are the UK distributor for them. They are beautiful. And I will say, I showed them to Carol tonight and her eyes lit up. She dumped she her own brushes <laughs> and she said, can I play with these? But I tell you something with these, when you have brushes, I have a bag behind me with all my brushes, but when you are carting them around like I do, and even if they're in a bag, yeah. they still get bent and destroyed on you. Yeah. And they, well, they separate, the hairs yeah. separate. Guess what? These have lids. Perfect. Uh, they, have they are lovely. Everyone she will be minus these. <laughs> yeah. be I will tell you, yeah, everyone is going absolutely bonkers for these brushes. They are so cool. And for those, like I say, who do detailed artwork, 
That's exactly what they're for. Not like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll pop them aside. Now they were sprayed, they were done in, in white and they were sprayed. And the one I have on the actual cake that I'd done earlier, I'd sprayed them in one spring, brown yeah. colour. And then I've brought in a greeny colour and, you know, just done a little bit in and then it makes them look a little bit, you know, silly, really. Okay, now, before we go any further, I'm going to tidy this lot. So would you like to answer this question, why can you not wash brushes underwater? The water gets inside this, go. look, gets inside here. We got Carolyn. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And where we think we've let it dry out, because yeah. you can't really stem them on no. their heads. Yeah. Where we think we've let them dry out, yeah. as soon as you're next going to do a next colouring, you in and there it is. There's it the water. Yeah. And it also destroys what's inside yeah. because the, it's stagnant water then. And it starts to destroy this and you'll find that your hairs come out. Yeah? So yeah. never, you never, if you're going to wash, Take a, a sponge and wash it on the sponge like yeah, this. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or, you know, but never put them into the water. Yeah. Yeah? Good idea. So, um, what paint was that that you used to paint the details with, Carol? <gasps> she was using the fractal colours. So, dun, dun. yeah. So, Carol was using the fractal colours. This is for the airbrushing, but basically you can use it for painting on as well. But it's um, a perfect consistency for your airbrush. And it was a... Uh, the, the larger bottles, the bottles are called Flow Air, and they're all matte colours. There's also a range called Shimmer of beautiful, um, shiny colours. And I have to tell you, um, I have treated Carol to some tonight, and her yeah. eyes... No, I wanted to go wide home. Open. Yeah. Yeah, well, I wanted to she go home. She was so excited. <laughs> I think for travelling down here, she deserved a few. In a few minutes, when we showed them that nice rose, They'll be yeah. able to see yeah. because I will do it in white and we'll Perfect. we'll do this. Great. Right, this little one. Um, the babies, babies, babies. We we'll start off with the brown. Okay, I tend to, for me, I put my colour in here. If I want it lighter, then I will add alcohol to it. So now, then I have dark brown and light brown and lighter brown and so on. So that's all, that's all I do, it's so easy. I have a little one of them. Is that your vodka? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. look. <laughs> I only drink on the plane so I can get these. <laughs> right, over here. Now I've got this plugged in over here, does it fit? Yeah, yeah it should so here. Over. it may do. If not, we can plug it in here, we've got a plug here, Carol. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. That's probably best. Bring it yeah. in. There we go. Now I did have pink in here. And so I'm going to spray with this one. And then the little bit of pink goes on. Then that's what colour we have. I have these little things. So I have again in it goes don't ask me where I ever got these <laughs> <laughs> now if I have a piece of paper on here do you want the kitchen roll? look do you want right. kitchen roll? no this is fine yeah. this is this is fine right turn it on and then just you can see it look see the pink yeah so that was the pink that Carol had in first because she actually sprayed up the rose that she's going to you that she's going to show right. you later. I'm going to do this. And that's near getting rid of all the pink. Turn it around. Turn it around. If you press your finger too hard, you can see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. But try and keep it up and away from it. And then the more you need it, the nearer you can go. Look. Oh, look at that, yeah. Yeah? So, <laughs> this is, the, the air is quite strong.
you can do quite whatever you want, whatever you, you know. And the brown's coming through now. Dark, yeah. Into the middle and, but leave that to dry and you'll get that nice deep if you, if that's yeah. what you want. Yeah. If you don't put your brush on it, swirl it, makes patterns in it, all sorts of things, all sorts. Right, a little It'll bit of play. just play really, isn't it? Yeah. Says her who's never opened the box. <laughs> well, only opened the box and looked at it. <laughs> it is just play. Right, we're going to do these little chappies. Look. You just spread that a bit lighter. You've got pink feet <laughs> and a pink tail. You know, pink and brown make um, a lovely dusty pink anyway. Yeah. But do you know what what, what colour the real dinosaurs are? <laughs> Was it? I'm just saying, you know. Do you know, Maria? <laughs> Wait, that one should be grey. Grey. Yeah. Green. Oh, Green. Get it wrong. <laughs> See? Can he not be just have a suntan? But that one, that one goes brown. This one? Yes. <laughs> she said this was the most dangerous. Yes. Well, yeah. it's not the most bad. He's bad. He's, he's, he's a bad. bad. Yeah. He's bad. I said, don't panic. None of them are dangerous. <laughs> They're dead. So for those of you who want to ask any more questions about the airbrush, because Carol's got so many things to do, Dawn Butler is in here doing a Facebook Live on Thursday. She's going to show you how to mix colours, blend colours, clean your machine, everything. She will be here showing you. But because Carol's here and she's got lots of things to do, I'm not going to bombard her with lots of questions. No, this is the last one I'm going to do yeah. with this. I've actually just added a little green into the... To keep Maria happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can see, you can see what I'm doing. I'm adding and I'm uh, letting them be... You're just doing you know, shades, just, yeah. Don't be fussy with them. Because they're extinct. <laughs> so if you join us at 8 o'clock on Thursday evening, okay. it's not the daytime session, Dawn Butler is here for a two hour session, she's going to show you how to use it. And all those lovely ladies who are coming to a class on Friday, you're going to go home singing and dancing because you certainly will know how to use it. Thank you Carol. Okay. Now I think I've showed you everything on the dinosaur cake that you can show us for now. That is, um, you know, if, if please point out if I haven't shown you how to do. But anything like this, the little slide, the little roundabout, and the seesaw. All freehand, really. Yeah, I and, have to say, carrots absolutely fantastic. Uh, and as well, soon as, you, if you want any, uh, uh, like I said, any pattern of it, just ask, um, and I'll send, it, I'll send you a, a thingy. And then make make this a bit bigger, you know, because everything just got piled on here. <laughs> or you it's, could make all the all the other bits a bit smaller. You could make them a bit smaller. You could, but have then, one, you could have one swing. What you have to do also is just make sure you could have one swing like we did. Yeah. But you have to just make sure that the dinosaurs, mm. you know, kind yeah. of correspond with the yeah. sizes that you're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. So well, well great. done for the, thinking those up. So anybody who is uh, wants the templates for those. Went, give chat Carol a chance to get home, but call, email, ask me later on in the week. And um, when Carol's got home, and I'll get her to forward me the email, and I can forward I, it to I'm everyone. free on Friday. You're free on Friday, yeah. good. What are we doing on Friday? Airbrush class. Airbrush class. <laughs> <laughs> right, good. So what are we on to next then, Carol? Right. I think what we're going to do is some of these flowers, don't you? Yeah. Or we could do... We'll do a flower for the top of the cake with the drip on it, and then we'll put drip on, and then um, yeah. Oh, you're flour. gonna use the drip now, cutter now? No, I'm going to make this flower. Oh right, yes. And let it. It can be setting off. Then I'll put the drip on, and then I'll put the flower onto the top. Right. Of the so the flower that Carol's yeah. talking about. This is a brand new cutter from FMN. Okay. And uh, you can get it only, I think it was only launched last week actually. Was it last week that it was um, launched? Okay. Maybe. And uh, this is going to be a very English rose. That's what it's called. Okay. But it's inspired by a David Austin. So you can make it looser or you can make it really tight. 
Carol, Carol came in tonight. She's made it a bit looser simply because of time. But she's going to show you the basis of putting one of these together. And the and former. Then you, and the former, yeah. So you need a former as well. If you have a deeper former, this will be tighter. Yeah. Yeah? Ah, yeah. Yeah. So, hence... One of those. Yeah. This is where this comes in handy. Yeah. Yeah? So, and that can stay in there because it's still a little piece in. Okay, I need to just there's where your little bit yeah. of spray is. Yeah. But there's not much really though. No. no. It's not actually. No. no it, I mean it's pretty good because it you know it does hold if you oh. are not scared of it. Yeah. But definitely just put grease proof paper up or something. Oh. Um, and it'll do the trick for you. I'm drying this and I'm drying it off to make sure that there's no, it's not even um, tacky damp because um, if it is, you're, you're in paste sticks there. And then a little cornflour, just rub it over it to make it all smooth again for you. Yeah, super. Right. Now I have got some stamens in my box. Um, so I'll put this flour together first and then I'll put a few stamens together to see if we can finish the flour. Now the flour is so big, there's so many petals on it. You wanna get this as fine as you can possibly get, yeah. okay? So you can see what I'm doing. Roll from the middle, roll from the middle. Lift it, see where it's tacky. Be very careful, rub a little on there. And from the middle and roll. Now this can be a bit tedious because we're going to need loads of them. Five of these. Yeah. Okay. So once I've started to do them, I might just you know Give get someone time. else to help. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that all broke into five little pieces. That one, Carol. Yeah, that's exactly what it should do. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. Because they're five petals. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. That's so. the star bit. It's the middle bit. Ah, right. Okay. I would have been having a heart failure. Yeah, it's all come apart. Yeah, I think it's all come apart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does this happen to you at home? Yes. Don't panic. Yeah, don't roll it up and do it again. No, just yeah. look what I've just taken up. My favourite extra fingers. Yeah. Okay, onto your pad. So you need two. There's a back and a front to them, so be careful when you're putting them together. When you're putting them onto your pad, okay? So we've got two of these and three of these, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to soften the edge. Okay. Soften the edge. I like to work over the paste when I'm when I'm softening. Right. I've got. And touch. So your points are right together and touch. And this last one and in there. So we've got five petals. I'm going to use my veiny tool. Again, you use the skinnier part, you know, the part that's this one? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm going to press down like so. You can see what I've done, can't you? Yeah. And that helps when you pick it up. Okay? Then, take your paintbrush mm. and pull. Just come towards that side a bit. And pull. Can you see that? Just pull it. And separate your petals. Now, if you had a little bit more time than I have, you can let that dry off a little. You know the um, piece of 
foam that you can get that's bevel. Yes. Use that and put put it down into that and then they'll dry better instead of trying to dry them flat like we do, like we are tonight. You know, I think sometimes we see these things and you think, mm, God, that's, that's it's taking It's not achievable or, or, yeah, it's something, you know, so it's well, taken hours or, yeah, yeah something yeah. like that. And, and I realise that you're not going to be quite as fast as I am. Having said that, there's no reason why you can't do like one of these every 10 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. And within the area, you have a whole spray made. So this is the FNM Cutters called A Very English Rose David Austin and it's a set of three. Yeah. Yeah. And it is on the Sugar and Crumbs website and it will also be under the Facebook Live wish list as well. Separate. Right, so we've got two made. I think sometimes as well, when we're doing something like this and you're doing it live, it's not so bad when you're talking to each other yeah. face to face. Yeah. But when you're um, doing it like this, for me, I always think, oh, people must be bored because, you know. <laughs> Um, no, I think they're quite fascinated, to be fair, Carol. Well, and I think when people want, people always want to make this particular rose, and if they can find an easier way to make it, then they will. Yeah. And the only way you're going to learn to make it is by watching how to do it, isn't it? Yeah, so definitely. And I always think it's nice to have a bit of conversation here in the kitchen to go with it. Yeah. Carry on talking away. So, can we remember how much the cutter is, Laura? I've just been asked that question. We're just having a look for you, Lynn. So the cutter is on our website. It's called A Very English Rose, inspired by David Austin, okay? It's £8.50. And it's £8.50. I've got plenty of stock in, so if you want one, grab one. So already, we've got four lots cut out. And to be fair, you are going at speed. You're doing very well, Carol. Well. And Linda says you're doing very well. But anybody who's watching, they do know that we are on a live. We're under pressure. So don't worry. And we have got to go home before 12. Hmm. She's only <laughs> pretending that I'll be here till 3 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. telling me? You, yeah, I've got to be in work <laughs> early tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Everybody's saying what a fab job you're doing and they're enjoying watching oh, it. Oh, bless. Mm -hmm. Right, one, two, on top. I have to tell you this, girls. And boys. And... Yep, there's a few guys watching as well. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw Phil Thorne, uh, his name pop up. And who else is, who did I see? Is Richard here with yes, us tonight? Yes, he was before. Richard is. And Jesus, there's a, drop your hands down a little bit. Sorry. Yeah, like Thank that. you. And yeah, there's, okay. a, like, there's another another one on here. Um, he won one of the Bake Off competitions. Paul Holmes. Ah. Yeah. I didn't know that I was going to be making this. I tell you, some people got big ears or I'm a very noisy eater. <gasps> uh-huh. <laughs> You know what it is? I'm sat next to the microphone. I'm having a piece of fresh bread and butter. Yeah, no jam though. <laughs> no jam, no. Yeah. You make jam. Do you make jam, Carol? I don't make jam, but you know our Laura's just made some beautiful plum jam. It was gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Very dangerous. You get, um, somebody's just asking, can you use more layers? And I suppose you can. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. More layers and less layers. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think as well, when we're going to make something like this, we, um, we might decide that we're going to do three. But if you want to fill up an area, and three might be a bit too big. So make a, a smaller one as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, to fit whatever size. You always, you always get that one, you know, person that you work with or who's supposedly a friend. 
And they say, oh, you like making cakes. Could you make quickly just make me? <laughs> that makes you laugh, doesn't it? Can you yeah. quickly make yeah. me a cake? I, I just so want you can a knock one up in an hour. Yeah. Minutes. <laughs> just a sponge cake, if you don't mind. Bring just six in. <laughs> can I have four of these flowers on it? And lots of love from mum, dad, the dog, and all the family. <laughs> For 25 quid? Yeah. yeah. No, a box of roses. <laughs> a box of roses. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, there's always that, yeah. I know, oh, thank you, you're very mind. kind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't like a candle for that. <laughs> the best bit is when they ask you to drop it off as well. Pardon? The best bit is when they yeah, ask you to, ask you to drop, drop it off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could you bring it into work with you in the morning? Because I've got a quiz down at the pub and I have to be there. Yeah. I'm sure lots of ladies here <laughs> realise exactly how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> But are her they mouths, are non -cake, her mouths. Non-cake makers have no idea, do they? No. They do think you just sort of get in the kitchen and knock one up with it an hour, fully decorated. Yes. And you do it because you love it and that you're more than happy for a box of roses. <laughs> yeah. Janet says, and when they come to pay and they only have 20 quid in their purse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember the first thing I made, somebody rang me and said, can you bail me out? Can you bail me out? Can you make something for mm -hmm. a family member? And I had to send John to the shop where I got the oven on and all the other bits to go and get it. I went, yeah, yeah, of course I will. And, um, <laughs> and she came in and she said she was really well chuffed with them, bearing in mind I've just made 90 of these cupcakes. And she gave me 20 quid. <gasps> Oh, wow. For the ingredients. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait for the ingredients. John said, does she know how much it costs? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I've never charged for a cake since because I don't make them for anybody. No. I, 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 I very that, seldom make for I don't, I don't make them any for anybody. I only make them now as a gift if I want yeah. to make them for a yeah. gift. Or if I'm here doing a live and I want to give it away to somebody who's here. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were still off sugar, you. <laughs> well, <laughs> you couldn't even defend no. yourself, then, Maria. <laughs> well, no. Maria I'm trying to help her by not giving her stuff now. <laughs> and trying. Well, I wish I was as fat as you. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. But in my 45th year, as I am now, I don't mind having a little weight. <laughs> <laughs> With Alzheimer's. <laughs> okay, so there... Yeah. I know, I keep imagining I might be slim again as I hit my 57th year next week. Yep. Yeah. I just think, you know, oh, for God's sake, I've been... You have the kids and then you think, oh, I'll just lose that weight. And then you have another one and then you think, I'll just lose that weight. And then, <laughs> yeah. And now I just think, oh, I'll just have an extra cake. Yeah. <laughs> Sod it. Yeah. Just enjoy yourself. You'll have to love me as I am. <laughs> I love bacon and I love homemade cake. <laughs> there. And that's final. Right, so on two of these, these are the outer pieces. And again, you can do three or more, whatever. But I've got to, I'm really, really sorry. It's all right, Carol. <sighs> She was blaming me before that every time she comes here, she's ill on the way here oh, all the time. Broken fingers. <laughs> yeah. 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 The very first time she yeah. came here, she went flying through her bedroom and broke her finger I on did. Ruth. <laughs> yeah, and worked with it. You did. Yeah. You did. I was very proud of it. And the weather was atrocious as well. You yes. travelled down in the worst weather ever, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, we did. <laughs> fairness to Carol, I did say, Carol, you should have cancelled it. She went, no, no, I've made an agreement, I'll be here. Oh, yeah. So she turned up with a broken finger in a real bad, a bad, it was a really bad gale, wasn't it? Yeah, anyway. it was. It went, you know, and we had the dogs with us, didn't we? Mm -hmm. my, yeah, little, did. my little black and white dog is still alive. Oh, is it? Yeah, only just. Oh, bless <laughs> it. She just keeps looking at me now, staring at me, bless her. Right, one more of these. You will know everything I do, you know, make it move on the table because if you, um, 
Crikey, Elaine Lawson's daughter has lost 10 stone in a year. <gasps> she was a size 24 and now, now a size 14. Wow. My yeah. goodness. We're all going to ask what she's doing. Yeah. 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 Share the secret. Yeah. <laughs> Don't eat. Yeah. Share yeah. the secret. Elaine <laughs> Lawson's going to get loads of private yeah. messages after. <laughs> yeah. Tell yeah. us. She's not eating crusty bread. <laughs> it's not life. Uh -huh. It's no life. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're right, Maria. There is no life. It's no life. Now, when I'm doing this, normally if you soften, I just go one around. But this one, if you can see, I'm just doing it a little, and it frills it a bit more. Can you see that? And most of I said it to you earlier, and I'm saying it again. Most of the time I work over the paste. So my hand is leaning on here, and I work over the paste. That way, everything, everything I do, they're all exactly the same weight distributed on mm. each thing. That's good idea. So, now, round, that's to the bigger one now. Just, see, from about this area. And, and it's given a, a little lift. I will use one of these just for... Now, for this the, David the Austin moment. Rose, you do need a deeper cup. But I actually haven't got one, so Carol's had to make do with this, and it's why it's stretched out a little bit. So, note for me and Laura tomorrow, we need to look out where we can stock some deeper mm. cups from. Well, you, if it's like what I'm going to put this in at the end, mm. and and I'll show you, and I'll show you the difference. Oh, we could yeah? make one out of tin foil. Shall we see You tin can foil? make it out of tin foil, and the reason for, for that I don't use that is because it doesn't dry underneath. No, that's true with tin foil. Right, and so. Exactly what I've done over here with that, this one. When I'm finished all of this, and I'm just going to put everything together, I'm going to put it into this, into this one that I've made. Yeah, one, it gives you where it, you can do it a bit deeper. And two, it will dry better for you because the air circulates underneath mm. it. Yeah, now we've got two, two of those. And the last one to do is this one. So you can do two or three. We're going to do two. And I know it's, I know it can be a bit tedious watching the rolling out, but if you no no everybody's pick enjoying up from it. That, the, Don't worry. The rolling out is important, and if you I'll never never turn over, just turn around. If you find it that your board is a tad on the tacky side this is like um just white fat right. you get a tiny tiny piece in there oh, and mm. it will hold all that into mm. place yeah so that so we've got a few suggestions cupcake cases apple trays yeah i've cupcake used apple cases trays are good. Yeah, yeah cupcake cases do you want me to get a cupcake case out for this one yeah if you want yeah, yeah. that'd be good a good one you can put holes in the bottom of that so that the air can go around it as well. Okay, I'm trying to get, so I'll get two over this, guys. So we're not rolling anymore. Yeah. We should do it. Squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> until you get it. Do you want one that's already... Bit wider Got and open. Pad. Or do you want the one that's firmer? Firmer, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, back onto the pads. There's another thing about pads. When you're doing, if you buy a pad and, um, you know, the pores on it are a bit bigger than this, it's a bit harder than this, it tears your case. So when you're buying a pad, look for one that's nice and soft, yeah, um, because it helps ginormously. We've got a lovely uh, pink and purple one that's nice and soft on our website. Have you? Yeah. It makes a difference. It makes a difference when you're doing this, especially. Um, Because I lean quite hard on mine, I really, you know, put a bit of bump into it. 
Is this still just modelling paste or is this flour and modelling paste? This is just modelling paste. Just modelling paste. Everything I've done, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Got holes in it. It's ended up stretching. I've got to put holes in it. Okay. I'll nice. just cut this a little. You can do that with your that big on. rolling pin as well, look. Yeah. yeah. Like so. Right. Into the middle. Offset with we with each other. Looks so pretty, doesn't it? Already, yeah. Yes. Make them go in as far as yes. You the can. water brush is on the website. And if you go to the wish list, if you go to our Facebook page, if you go to our page, our website, and just put in water brush in the search button, it will come up. But everything that Carol is using tonight is in the wish list. And the wish list is, like I say, go to our page, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And on the top it says home, shop, and just go right the way along to the right hand side. And um, you'll see Facebook Live tutorials. Drop down to this month and then drop into Carol's name. That was so good, doesn't it? I'm just encouraging it into, into. And you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Paula, what was out of stock on Saturday? Everything's back in stock now. The water brush pens. The FMM one now. The FMM pens, the water pens are in stock. Yeah. I've also got the blue ones back in, but I haven't put them in stock yet. Now, before I put these in, I'm just going to paint them. So I would put eleven or eight stamens. You always get somebody. How many have you put in there? How many? <laughs> How many stamens? Well, Carol only allowed me to put five in here, but they look a bit stingy. I think. So I'm just going to put You're such a extra in this one. She chose five, then she's realised. <laughs> this one, bend over. I have um, some tape somewhere. Just bend them in half. And don't do them too even. We have one of those um, amaryllis at home. And out of one plant, we've got seven flowers all come out at once. You know, massive big ones. Yeah. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful there. Right, I'm just going to take the bottom off of that. I'm not doing it quick, tidying up, so I don't mind if it goes on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you feel free, Karen. I always cut my tape and I cut it into three so that it's nice and fine. I hate bulky tape. Right, twist around and then keep going. And you were the lady who introduced us to a tape cutter last time you were here. Yeah, I know. And actually have them in stock as well. Yeah, I just think it makes it much easier to use, yeah. much easier. Okay, so we've got this and we should have some yellow paint. Just bear with me a half a second because I think I might have some in here. No. I've got yellow paint if you want some. Yeah, I'll have some yellow. And then, um, have you got yellow? Do you want me to get you some? No, I have got some somewhere down down in the box, but I don't know which one. Right. Oh, look, look. Ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> And I just put a little hole in here. So the only things I've not put in the wish list is I haven't put all the fractal colours in because there's so many of them that if you go to our website and go to brands, choose fractal and then you can actually pick them up yourself. It's a lovely bright yellow that, isn't it? Yeah. No telling me off if I've missed a bit, okay? <laughs> no, we know you were. Because if your eyesight is that good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, into the centre, because these won't just stand in there, just take a little tiny piece of paste 
and pop it onto there. Now I did put a little piece of moisture onto there so it just catches the bottom of this. And then to get them into there, use the tweezers and push it in. Are you doing airbrush it before you put them in? Are we having a I should do, I should airbrush it, yeah, I'll take it out in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just wow. That. Can you just Leave hold that, that there, up Carol. a second? Just hold it up and hold put it up as an yeah. angle, that's wow, it. Wow, look at that. I think when you airbrush this, you, you're going to see this in a much better detail. Yeah, absolutely yeah? lovely. So what I think we'll do is leave it to dry for a bit. Pop that on the side, and we'll make a day, and then we'll airbrush both of them. Yeah. Um, together. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Super. So let's yeah. put that there. Is that okay? Yeah. So we've now got a very English rose, and Carol is also now going to make a dahlia with a dahlia cutter. So she's got loads to do. She's got to make drips yet as well. <laughs> <laughs> What else have you got to do, Carol? No, that, I think that's <laughs> it then. then. Yeah. Can we let yeah. go home then? Yeah. <laughs> Alan might be going mad soon, right? Who's Alan? Oh, yeah. 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 Who's Alan? <laughs> 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 Whose sandwiches have been eaten? <laughs> we got married again in September. Oh, did you? Yeah, we did, yeah, because oh, we're a bit... very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was our 40th... Where did, where did 40th you get married again? In Wales. We don't... Yeah. We just... Just us. And our children and their children and partners. Oh, that's lovely. Um, we didn't, we didn't, I have a very You'd large family. You'd never thought he was romantic, would you? Mm, well, <laughs> hasn't got a choice with me around. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it was our 40th wedding anniversary and my ring had broken. Right. And um, so he said, you know, well, we'll get a new one and do this. Yeah. Um, oh, that's lovely. And I, there, I, my broke and I was in doing this, you yeah. know, rolling something out. And um, my wedding ring broke. There's nothing to do with the fact that it was cheap from Argos. <laughs> 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 well, 40 odd years ago, <laughs> it wasn't, was it? No. So, now. Okay. So this is a dahlia that Carol's yeah. going to make now with the dahlia custom from FMM. And that was only released later last year, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. And I love it. Yeah. Now Show this... them that red one that you've made with the clay. Where is it? Is it behind Oh, it's it? behind me, yeah. Yep. Right. And number two. Oh, Paul Holmes it. says he's absolutely loving this tonight. That's good. Yeah. In fact, lots of people are loving it. So all of you show your appreciation. It will be much appreciated. She's send working on speed, this girl, you know. Send in the, the boxes of roses. Yeah. I'm <laughs> tipping. <laughs> you know I'll be, I'll be high on cake when I get home from here. Because yeah. I'll eat half of those cakes before I get oh, yeah. home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll bring one in to my mum-in-law. Here you go. <laughs> Look so uh, for you. the cakes that the girls made over the weekend, uh, the Queen of Hearts girls, um, we were decorating them on Saturday and uh, they're all fresh. So I've sent Carol home, but on the, they're meant to be for her mother-in-law who is 92. But it looks like Carol might be eating them on the way home. <laughs> and I've actually, a little taste. <laughs> I've actually gave the photographer some today, so he was very happy. And the rest, Laura and Maria can scrap over them. <laughs> now, can you see clearly what I'm doing here? Yeah. Right, so I'm just cutting each one. And, and I'm going to tell you, when you're doing something like this with a blade as sharp as this blade, I don't really cut into the board. It's very, very gently just pulling. You press down and pull, and then it won't cut marks in your board. Because it's very important that you don't cut these boards because they are one, they're for life. You'll have it for life. I, I, I have a large one like this and I don't know what we would do without it. Look how dedication that is. Karen Davies is watching from Poland. Yay! Yes. In the bar, I will say. <laughs> really? In the bar? How unusual for you, Karen. <laughs> huh? uh, and everyone's saying how much that they've enjoyed watching tonight. They're absolutely loving it. That's good. Okay. With my veining tool, I'm going to do the thinner side. And if you watch, I sometimes don't tell people what I'm going to do. See, just open it up. Oh, look at that. And as you, I'm going to go around this very quickly and open these. 
and then each one of these I'm going to press and pull so it makes them look then that you have individual ones. Now I'm going to do this not wired so we'll um, just make a small centre yeah. for it. Alan's right. joining in again. Yeah. <laughs> Phone. I, thought, yeah, I thought I could hear a phone, didn't you? Yeah. The fact that it was vibrating through the ceiling. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So the pink red board that Carol is using is called a foam mat and it's actually a firm a firm foam. 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 Go on Carol, Go on, you say that. Sure a is. firm Go on, I can't say it. FMM firm foam former. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I love it. Yeah, an FFM firm. No, FMM. What is it? FMM. For God's sake, it's a pad. That is. It's a foam pad, that's all you need to know. It's red. Go on our website and you'll see a red one. There you go. Right, a ball. Just about it's right. a firm foam former and it's on our website and it's on the wish list as well and oh, those freaking cookcases are uh, cutting it aren't they yeah no, i know i just noticed that side. never mind we'll hide that from them yeah i was gonna say don't use uh, a cupcake cutter <laughs> no. right put your moisture on here as well and now this, this part is important because when you're doing this, we don't want it to close too far over. So if you put your fingers underneath, oh use God. all your fingers Carol, like this. Can you tilt for me a second? Like this? That's yes. it. Perfect. So use all your fingers like this. And then I'm going to, a little piece at a time, push. And then turn and push. So you can see what's happening now as they come together. The floor is creaking, I'll just tell you that now. <laughs> He's had to take the phone call outside. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Holmes says it's easier to say hard sponge. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> hard, but it's no hard fun. Sponge. <laughs> yeah, it's hard no sponge fun. Pad. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to get Carol to say it. <laughs> oh, I get all my words muddled up, I tell you. Right. <sighs> Let's start. Just gonna put that alongside there. He's sneaking down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Alan, sneak past us. We've heard you. <laughs> now this one. Oh, look what I'm doing. It doesn't really matter because you've actually showed them how to cut it. Yeah. So we'll spray it. This one. Worry. When you have this. You have the thinner side. I'm going to use the fatter side. This is a bit fatter, right? Right from on the pad and pull it in. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why you do need this burn pad. Yeah. Wow, look at the detail on that. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you'd have to tip that upside down so they can see the detail on that. But it, it's how it brings it in. It, it actually makes a nice little yeah, yes. edge to it. But it, you must put that, up, you know, off the paste on the pad and then yeah. pull back right and you lean quite quite hard you know you like yeah. lean quite hard you are it. putting some pressure on it <laughs> you could make one of these carol would you like to have a go <laughs> karen naylor just wrote carol does Come occasionally on. get her walking words woodled yeah i don't know say that woodled <laughs> Yeah, that's a perfect life. That's why I got confused when you said something before. I was well confused. Oh, cracky, that was a bit brave on the live, Carol. <laughs> but you didn't actually say it. It was no. on my mind. <laughs> it was your mind. <laughs> right, just Carol, drop your hands off. <laughs> okay, I'm just kind of pushing it together and then making <clears> sure <throat> it touches underneath. Hold for a couple of seconds. And don't push at it, you know, on the top because you don't want these too close. I need to come down here. Sorry, I'm moving up to myself. 
Now look, press. Can you see that? Is that clear? Yeah. yeah. Now we've got Fred Miller, but I think Carol Miller must have wrote it because she said, I love watching Carol. I watch her on YouTube and she explains everything so well. Love Carol Miller. Do you know Carol Miller? I like Carol Miller. <laughs> <laughs> but she's using Fred Miller's profile. Very confusing. <laughs> now, can you see this? Yeah. I just yeah. put it in. It just helps then to hold it. And look, there's a piece of foam. Yeah. And just cut what you want and make the, yeah. the shape. Yeah. So they love the dahlia. Just grab that red one behind it because that's so beautiful, that red one. So they can see this, it. This red one is orange. Yeah. Orange. <laughs> is it orange, that is it? Yeah. yeah. What colour is that, Laura? Red. Red. <gasps> it's, yeah, it's kind of on the turn of an that burnt orange to yeah. a red. Yeah. Orange though. Red though. <laughs> burn orange. orange. Burn orange red. I'm getting my words muddled, I can't count. Oh god. It's red or orange. <laughs> yes, Tony, they are Dahlia cutters. <laughs> you trying to check to what, is it orange to you now? That's See what orange. she's done to us. Yeah. Dark <laughs> dark orange, I think. Not quite red. You. <laughs> you have to say it like I say it. I bought I bought Alan some um, drink the other day, and it was from the um, the Irish Isle in, <laughs> in the shop. And I brought it home yeah, and I so. said, <laughs> "Look what I bought for you! I brought it from some club orange." And he said, "Some what? Club orange?" Right. <laughs> and he said, "Oh, orange." I said, no, no, it's Club Orange. But you have to say Orange because it doesn't sound the same if you say Club Orange. <laughs> <laughs> it's Orange. <laughs> but he still can't say it. <laughs> now, I've done two, two, and two, but you know, for same thing as we said last time, if you. Um, I want to make it bigger, just do more. But what I tend to do is two for the center, and then I do for the next one, I might do two or sometimes three, and then I would leave it as a bob. And then when I'm doing the very bigger ones, again, I might do three of the second size, so two, three, and then two of the larger size, mm. or two two and three of the larger size yeah. it depends on what the outlook of your yeah. flower that you need at the end of it so and and see this one here just got a tiny piece you know the caterpillars have been at this <laughs> so don't worry but what this one i'm just going to do each side of that can you see what i'm yep. doing there yeah and that's just softening and it's not really bringing it any larger but if i want this larger you push from flat and then do that and you see it any longer yeah here. look at that so you do whatever but i only want the softened on this on the edges at the minute there's so many things that you can do with the tools that are in your box yeah that it, you it don't think about just that do you, you holding need... them a different yeah. way or so see yeah, i would never thought of doing that well, sometimes when you were using the roses, you know, the big rose cutter, mm. and you want the outside petals to be bigger. Yeah. Well, I elongate and widen, and then I cut a little X in the middle so that the petals come out a bit more right. and go into the position that I want them. That's so good how you're doing yeah. that. Gosh, I sit, what, sit, sit watching you doing that all yeah. the time. It's, this is just one of my favourite flowers and you can, there's so many colours of them and so many different varieties that it's just a pleasure to do them and have them all the colours. Yeah. Jennifer, the, car the tool that Carol's using at the moment is an FMM tool and what's that one called again? This is a veining tool. It's a veining tool. I have put them in the wish list so you can see them.
and Linda Elizabeth Donnelly, it's her daughter who designed um, yep, the... Yeah, um, Kerry. Yep, Kerry. Kerry Badham. And um, it's her, it's, she has actually designed the dinosaur cutters, the David Austin Rose. I don't know whether she did the uh, Dahlia or not, do you know? But she's actually designed lots of things. No. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Wow, that's lovely. Absolutely beautiful. And what we'll do, I'm, I'm going to leave it in this piece of foam yeah. because we'll spray it in this piece of foam. Yeah. And I'm just having a tidy up here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And here's our, <laughs> here's our, our blur. So I think with this one, we don't like it in here. Look, it's breaking out. It's yeah. breaking it. So we put this in the cupcake case, but it has actually broken a little bit. So, but at least you've got the idea, which is the yeah. main thing. I think so. Also, um, it's actually cut it a little bit on the end. Yeah. And Carol's just having a little bit of a meltdown. So don't worry. These things happen on the live. You know. <laughs> If I'd made that carol, the whole thing would have freaking collapsed by now. There we go, look. <laughs> Don't tell anybody that when we're finished all of this, we'll just put this one in the bin and start again. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm just doing that, and then I'm going to do a little bit of a spray with these, okay? Yeah. Well, everybody is absolutely loving watching you, Carol. You're getting loads of compliments here. It's very confusing because I'm called Carol as well. And I'm mm. thinking I'm getting all the glory <laughs> and it's not. It was you, Carol. <laughs> okay, comes. They're all saying, I love watching Carol, love watching Carol. There I am. My head's getting that big. I can't get it out of the kitchen. <laughs> what it turns is, out it's you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They love watching Carol eating her bread. <laughs> or doing that when you have nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Actually, I've got a jam donut in the <laughs> <laughs> This from her stuff earlier. You have to see it again. These wipes take everything off. Yeah. Um, really good. So, but my um, pads, my uh, red pads, I put them in the dishwasher. Oh, do the pads go in the dishwasher? They go in the dishwasher. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So, um, and they come up, you know, sometimes we get all the white powder all over them, you know, because, yeah. well, they come up brand new, right. brand new in the dishwasher, yeah? Fantastic. Right. Right, so everybody is loving this. So what do we think? Come on, show us those love hearts and everything. Carol's worked, well, Carol yes. has worked so hard tonight. Be a bit oh, we've got to do the drip finished. cutter yet. You're not finished yet, you're neither. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm just standing on something. But I'm just going to spray these. Yeah. And then they can sit for a spray few red minutes. or orange? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to do pink. <laughs> Did you know what I said there? Tink, pink. Tink, yeah. Yeah. Loads so, of love What have we got? Loads of likes. You have to go and have a look in your little box yeah. down there. <laughs> I'm so excited. Pink. Yeah. Carol's very excited. She's um, got a, a full set of fractal colours, courtesy of sugar and crumbs. She did oh, offer yes. to pay them for them in fairness, but I said no. She's coming along to the live, and I always like to treat people when they come along and do the live demos. So this is a massive treat. She's got enough ice and sugar to last her a lifetime, but this one will be fine. A massive treat this is. So she's very excited. I'm doing a dem with my um, flowers for Thursday, and they will all be sprayed with this. Yeah. <laughs> the nice thing with the fractal colours is that suitable for vegetarians, vegan, vegan, and they're halal certified as well. Perfect. So not just suitable for halal diet, they're actually halal certified. Right. I'm so going to have um, room, stay so up high. Yeah. And. It's the usual thing, a That's little lovely. piece at a time. Yeah. That and looks lovely. You start then. Helen Mills has just said the dahlia when complete and if it look if it looks flat, looks like a water lily as well. Yes, it does. Yeah. You can actually make water lilies out of this. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, which I, I've got some at home and they really are. And you can make um presents. Oh sorry, darling. No, it's okay, right. don't worry. You can make presents out of them. You can make you know. <laughs> it's really a versatile, it really is a versatile pattern. Jan look. Janet got it. I love the Irish saying, tink. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. 
Now I'm going to leave that at the pail. Yeah. 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 Now when we do this one, <laughs> have you got a good shot? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Poor Vicky, she said, today I decided I didn't need to buy any more equipment. Now I realise I need these cutters. <laughs> yeah, so lovely, that pink. It just really does bring it to life, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, even this flower, we, you know, when we've done it, it could be closed up a little more. You can yeah. see that. There but you go. Just close that up there for them, so that they can see that. Um, we can't close no. it that tight because the, the former we've got isn't tight enough. Because I didn't know I was going to be no. doing them. I have to just and tell fairness, you that, people. And in fairness, <laughs> Carol didn't know she was doing these. She knew that she was meant to be doing dinosaurs. <laughs> and then tonight she's so walked in and I said, can you do this, like this so. and this? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. It really does give it, you know, a better effect. Yeah. Yeah. So Maureen Smith, the pink that's being used is the Fractal Flower Pink. Yeah. Yeah. Such a lovely Super. colour. Yeah. Such a lovely colour. And then put that with yellow and you've got lovely apricot colour. Yeah. And it just you, you your mind just blows away. Yeah. Well we have that one, it's lovely. Look. <laughs> Yeah. And here's one we made earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You only made that a couple of hours ago, didn't you? Absolutely. So I, um, you can I asked Carol, when I asked Carol to come along, I asked her to use the cute dinosaurs, because uh, that's all the rage at the moment. And then I messaged her last week, asking her if she'd do the English rose and the uh, drip. But she didn't know I'd asked her. So she walked in tonight completely <laughs> oblivious, because she's got a new phone. Hadn't realised at all, completely oblivious that she has to do these. It. <laughs> so I think she's done a smashing job. I no idea how to use it. Okay, I'm going to do on this side, and I'm going to use some of your dust colour. Oh yes, yeah. there you go. And you're going to dry brush, aren't you? You don't want liquid, right? So do you the want liquid. Or do you want... No, I'm going to dry brush this one. The difference is, if we're going to do something, and we're this, this is the paste is the colour that I wanted it, so it's um, put straight on. This one here was put on earlier, but it's been hand painted. So there's different shades. That so while Carol I was eating a slice of bread and butter, I was hand painting. Can you see the yeah. breadcrumbs on there? <laughs> yeah. And sometimes then we don't all, um, you know, we're not able to paint for whatever reason. But I find if I'm going to use a gold, gold can, you know, we can't just get it on here if we haven't got a good steady hand and whatever. And then it ends up going in where we don't want it. But I find if I'm doing it, I will put it on my dry paste and then add it to this. Yeah. yeah. So always, always, you know, use a, a nice good colour yeah. um, because then you don't get your fingers all over. So otherwise then, you know. So this is another brand new cutter out. It only came out beginning of last week or the end of the week before, whichever. It's not been out long anyhow. And it's called um, a drip cutter by FMN. FMM, is it FMM? FMM. I, mean, I don't know, is it two Fs and one M or two, one F and two it's M? It's one F, two M. Feltum. Filter. Mm. Media, is it? Manufacturing. Feltum. Media. Manufacture. So it's F, M, M. M. All right, okay. Right, well, anyway, what, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this lovely drip cutter out and um, and Carol's used it. And to be fair, she's put it on the side of this cake. She's done it in this lovely ruby sugar paste, but I just wanted to paint it with three colours. So while I was munching on my bread and butter before, I've actually painted it in with the colour splash colours and I've used the ruby uh, pearl the rich gold and the copper colour splash colours. So you can see them there. Okay. And Carol now is going to, so you can see them on the cake. I think you can see and them. And we've got our piece of paste. I'm going to choose this one. Yeah, so you can see them on the cake there. And then Carol is actually going to, just hang on a second, she's going to do another way. She's going to do dry brush. And Maria, you'll just have to move it a little bit. Okay, ready? Yep, we're ready, we're ready. And so, as you can see, I'm putting it on the flat oh, Grace of the brush. Is, Grace is still watching us. I need to get it right. Right, Grace, got it. Filter, filtering media, media manufacturers. manufacturers. And they want me to get that right. <laughs> okay. 
I think I need to practice F and N. Yeah, she's not, not a hope, Grace, not a hope. Anybody who watches me regular every week knows I cannot get my words straight. But don't worry, I've put her straight. And Marjan, we do, do we do um, send Holland, so you can actually order off our website, and then there's a price there for Holland. So grab as much as you can because we actually give you one price up to thirty kgs. Mm -hmm. Nice and shiny. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice yeah. shiny. That's right. lovely. Be careful always. Make sure it moves on the board. Then you have to find the cutter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I didn't do is make sure it was, it was long enough. enough. <laughs> so we'll just do one in the middle. Yeah. Do you know what this is? The, I mean, the drip is all the rage, isn't it? Yeah. But if you're making a cake for a man, pot of paint. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 And this I've is been no good for my John. I don't think he's ever painted anything. This is the time. hard part. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I like to put. And you know you're going to have to show me how to do that again, aren't you? I do it again, yeah. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. And just around the top. Now this is buttercream on this cake. And this is hair. <laughs> <laughs> is it one of mine or one of yours? Well, you know what they say, don't you? Mine's just the breadcrumbs over there. A lady's <laughs> outfit is never complete without dog hair. <laughs> And then pop together. And you're what you're watching, you're watching this. Okay? Don't worry about where these are going. Just watch this. Line that up, yeah. So as that you get that spot on. And touch in just so it looks part of your cake. Okay. We're gonna have loads of drip cakes now. No one's going to be saying it. It is smashing. Though, you don't isn't need it? to spend all that money on chocolate, then. Oh. I have problems. In which with... case? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do a drip because me and the microwave don't get on together. But you do realise that you can use these with chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate paste. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can make it. You flour it. Oh yeah. I use that Renshaw chocolate paste the other oh. week. It's to die for. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I'd want to put it on a cake. I think I'm quite happy yeah, to chop it up. It <laughs> we'll get some out after and have a bit. Right, so Laura. Can I've you... cut a half of one. Yeah. So I'm just going to take that. How much is the drip cutter? Do you know? You was buying it this week. How much was? How much did you pay for it? I didn't because I didn't have any money. <laughs> Someone stole mine. Just a minute. We'll find out how much it is. Someone stole her. It's, it's always good. like faulty towers in this kitchen. That's why we love that. That's why everybody loves the lives. You know what? What we like to be is as though we're in your kitchen. Just totally relaxed and chilled out. God help them. <laughs> <laughs> now look, here's your join. Yeah. I like to make sure that it's got a little bit of moisture on there. And then with the flat of this, yeah, the fatter side, this, this is the veining tool and this side is called the Dresden tool, but it's the frilling tool really. And then just well, flatten well. that in as best and neat as you possibly yeah. can. If you don't look at it and you touch it, then you'll know you've got it in yeah. as tight as you can. So and then there we are. Yeah? Right, Karen Griffiths is watching. It's £7.49. You're just about to say it. Well done, I'm Karen. Just popping the link on. Okay. And then if you have made any flowers earlier, <laughs> here we are. There we are. Well done. Okay. Well done. How I good think, is that? I got think, it on there, Laura. Yeah. Um, you know, I've showed there everything now that I've got. I think, yeah. Fantastic. How good is For that? Tonight. Well done, Carol. So, well done. Right, let's just come around there. Unless you have any questions. you finished on time, Carol. On time, my God. <laughs> <laughs> So what is the time? I have no it's, idea. It's uh, three minutes. minutes yeah. yeah, three minutes. Is it five minutes too? Yeah, five minutes ago. So guys, hasn't she worked really hard? You've got to give her a due. She has done everything tonight, and she's done this rose as well, and never actually done one. She hadn't even seen the cutter until tonight. And so true. you know, <laughs> so true. that that is going to make the easiest David Austin rose ever. The drip is fantastic. I reckon loads of you are going to be buying that drip. It's just so easy to pop onto your cake as well. Um, what can we say about the dinosaurs? 
perfect for kiddies. I absolutely love the dinosaur park. It's so cute, so inventive. And you know what, Carol's made a lot of those little features herself so you can put the dinosaurs on, which is great if you want to make them with the children. So please big, put your thumbs up, lots of love hearts, big hugs, everything else for Carol. She's worked really hard and I'm gonna make sure I get her back in here again for something else. God help you. Okay, God help you. <laughs> <laughs> so, and thank you as usual, joining us on a Monday night. We always appreciate it. And we know that you love our Facebook Lives. For those newbies, there's lots of you been watching tonight and you've all said how much you enjoyed it. We're here every Monday at eight o'clock. God willing, yeah, mm -hmm. every, every Monday at eight o'clock. We usually do a Thursday morning one, but that's been a bit off at the moment because we've had some night sessions and we've got so many lives for February and sort of leaving the Thursday morning ones alone. So we're back here live in the kitchen at eight o'clock this Thursday with Dawn Butler. She's going to show you how to use her airbrush. So all of you have got airbrushes and I know loads of you absolutely bought the brand new Dinky Doodle. Make sure you're here at eight o'clock on Thursday night. She's going to show you all the hints and trips, tricks, trips, tricks. <laughs> See, <Grace. laughs> <laughs> Everything you can do with air, an airbrush. And God help my kitchen because she's also got seven students plus me in the kitchen on Friday for a class. <laughs> and we're going to be here all day making a complete mess and probably all night cleaning it up because I've got a class on Saturday with my own students doing nifty nozzles. Then we're back in on Monday. We've got Karen Davies, who's thoroughly enjoying herself in Poland at the moment, drinking at the bar, watching Carol work. Well, she'll be here in the kitchen herself, working herself. She's got two fabulous molds that she's launching on Monday. I've seen them. Um, I've just got to check whether I can put them on the website tomorrow. I do know there was an email shot out, but I'll just confirm tomorrow whether I can put them on the website. But she's got the most two beautiful molds coming out. And next week, we've also got Katie Sue with some beautiful moulds as well that are coming out by Kerry Griffiths. So it's going to be an absolutely amazing month for February. So if you think you don't need any more, you're going to want everything that's coming out at the moment because they're amazing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, definitely. <laughs> so that's a bye-bye from all of us. Bye. Carol. Bye. 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 Laura, Maria and husband Alan upstairs. <laughs> yeah, husband. He's the one that was the noisy one, not us. <laughs> So thanks for joining us, guys. See you on Thursday night. See you soon. Bye. Bye.